Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Just Another Car Show. I'm Ben, and we just bought our own paint shop. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so if you've been following the channel, you know we've got this 97 Miata that needs paint. But, we have something else that needs paint just as bad. This is our beautiful 1983 Mazda RX-7 that we bought for $1,500 and we've been taking to the racetrack. You might take a look at this and agree with us, it's in desperate need for a little bit of paint as well. So we went to the best place on planet Earth, Harbor Freight, because we boldly think that we might be able to do a better job than Mako. And you're here to find out with us. We got a big McGraw 21 gallon air compressor. This guy's gonna be great for paint, but it's also gonna be great for a lot of other things that we do around here. So that's a bonus. We also got a few different odds and ends here to be able to paint. Obviously, you need a paint gun. This is the brand new Black Widow paint gun from Harbor Freight. This guy just came out a little while ago and it has incredible reviews because honestly, when you're painting, the most important piece is your gun. So we know we got a good one from our boys at Harbor Freight. A few other things we got. We got a reel with a lot of different cable, 100 foot, so we can reach all the cars out in the front, cars back here that we're gonna paint. We got some filters to separate the water from the air because Everybody knows there's a little water in all the air and you can't have any water while you're painting. So these will filter out water while we're painting. And we got a few more odds and ends to just make sure everything buttons up real nice. We got the car prepped yesterday, did a lot of work on that, a lot of sanding, a lot of prep, getting rid of all those vinyls. And now today we're gonna set this up and we'll see you guys at paint. So as you guys see, we tried to put the compressor over on the other side of the house and then we realized it, it's gonna rain at some point in time. So we want it to be covered like our welder is over here. So now we have it back here in this corner. Off here, we have a, our first water filter basically. So it's taking humidity out of the air. Then we run into our hose and then bam, the cool stuff is over here by the gun. So we've got a, a gauge here so we can control how much pressure is coming out of the gun because that's super important when you're painting. And Sam also had the ingenious idea to add another humidity filter before the gun because water getting into the paint gun is a huge no-no. So now Sam, I gotta go to work. Sam's gonna basically button this up, do a little more paint prep. We'll catch you guys when we're painting tomorrow. <laughs> all right guys, so you saw us set up the compressor. That's all rocking and rolling the other day we got that done. Then it's been a lot of Bondo and sanding, sanding and Bondo and primer and sanding and Bondo. And now finally today, we've taped up most of the car. We got a few more spots to tape up and then we're gonna take you guys with us to build the booth. We need to build a paint booth, but we don't have the money to buy a paint booth. We don't have any indoor space for a paint booth. So we decided to do the cheapest paint booth in the world. <laughs> AKA we bought a ton of tarps from Harbor Freight. And basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna take two of them, put them down each side zip tied, and droop them down the middle to cross each other. And then we're gonna do these smaller ones, one on that end there, and one on this end here. And we got a paint booth. In theory. And we're gonna get high inside this paint booth. Well, I have a mask, do you have a mask? I was just gonna wear a mat, like a normal one. You'll be a little high. I'll be a little high. <laughs> just a little high. I'll be a little loopy. Welcome back to MTV. My name is Ben, and this is my crib. We got this paint from paintyourcars.com. From paintyourcars.com. Or maybe paintyourcar.com. <laughs> I'm in danger. And we got some mixing sticks. We got some filters for pouring. And we got some of our additives, reducer, hardener. And here's our paint Arctic White. We looked up the mi mixing ratios on paintyourcar.com. <laughs> our ratio is eight to two to one. So eight ounces of paint two ounces of reducer, one ounce of hardener. I'm nervous, I'm, ner I'm nervous. It's gonna kinda commit, right? What's happening? <laughs> That's eight ounces. Right. Oh, this is what we need two ounces of. So now I'm gonna mix and then pop this on and pop this on and yep. we're going. Okay, uh, here we go. Just spray like a line on it. Okay, way too, way too thin. Or do you allocate it? Oh, there it is. This is crazy. Yeah, this is crazy. I would go slower with a much thin. thicker coat. Yeah, it's super, yeah. 
You gotta go way thick. More. Get more flow, yeah. There you go. We gotta be careful though, because it's gonna start getting too thick. Do you see that, like, that glimmery? It's chalking up because it's running let's, out. Let's just stop it. Yeah, cuff. Not bad. Not bad. Look out of here. Let's get out of here. Yeah. More paint. Okay, yeah. we do need more filters and more. Let's get this mixed. I'll finish the fender while you're yeah. done. Uh, okay, I'm going to go run the Harbor Freight right okay. now. I'll see you in a little bit. Okay. I'm just going to get this one done and chill. Okay, so we just got the first coats on the bumpers and the fender. Sam actually went to go get a few more like mixing buckets for us. I'm gonna let these dry and we'll get back to work when Sam gets back. Hey, we're back and we got a light up here and we're mixing our third batch of paint. Okay, coat two on this guy. Here we go. Dude, something is going on. Why? Well, I can't tell. You're definitely getting sparkle. Yeah. Is it air or water? That's my main question. So, but I've also never used single stage. I don't... I, what I heard is you're supposed to go super thick. Basically, it being like half done like that yeah. is like not what it's supposed to look like. It's supposed right. to be like a thick coat of paint. Right. Yeah. Like this, when it went on, was fucking like spotty. Right? This was when we were like, oh shit, but look yeah. here now. I don't know if that's how it's supposed to go on. Unless this is a metallic paint, we just don't know it. Yeah, it just it looks really satin for it being... Do you want to spray one of those bottom bumpers way thicker than you have been? And just see what happens? Like one of the bottoms of like... No. Okay. I honestly think these are good coats. Not I think just from online, it looked like they were doing way thicker. They were like really thick, wet. Like they, it, like when they were spraying it, it looked really wet. And if it mm -hmm. didn't, he said it wasn't enough. Okay, so right now, Sam and I are having just questions because we are inexperienced at this. We're looking at our paint on there. We can't tell if the gun is coming out a little spotty, if there's like a little water or air coming from the gun, or if we're laying the paint too thick or too thin. We, we just don't really know. So we're gonna do a little Googling. We're gonna see how this dries and we'll check back with you guys. Okay guys, we're trying something because we watched online and these guys are putting coats on really thick. We're gonna kind of overdo, possibly overdo. We're gonna try not to overdo, but possibly overdo the bottom of this bumper because it's the least seen part of the entire car and then see if this comes out better and if it does then we're gonna be doing this on the rest of the car yeah it's doing the same shit this is what the beginning of a run looks like see how it all molded oh that looks wait that yeah that's not healthy but this that's like, what that's but like, that's what his was looking like that's gonna run like right now it's the fine line between that so yeah. i think i don't think you hit it though i think you're just on it on that spot yeah, but see, these plotches still come out like this. Okay, so bottom line, we can go slower. That's for sure. That's for sure. It definitely think? looks a lot better. Okay, we'll but You can actually see the slower. light in the reflection of it too now. Yeah, exactly. For the first time. Okay, so basically what we did is we ended up looking up online this whole situation where we sprayed the gun against the wall to see what it came out. We're basically doing way thicker. How's it looking? It's thicker. <laughs> <laughs> And we're hoping this changes, fixes our little problem we're having. That's crazy thick. That's the best thing you've done. Yeah. I mean, it's got orange peel, but like, now we can start Googling how to fix orange peel, because that's orange peel. Yeah, the little blow over. Yeah, let's, so let's let's Google now, let's, let's, why we're picking, before we mix the next one. Let's Google that and see what that means. A few moments later. Okay, Sam and I just went to Subway. We're back, let's check on these panels. I can't even lie to you guys. We already looked at them, but I'm not feeling great. Right now, these look like the side of a goddamn orange. <laughs> <laughs> they look really bad. They look really bad. Uh, orange peel is when paint doesn't reflect in like a clear surface. It reflects like the side of an orange. You know how orange skin is like all rough and bumpy? Well, if your paint reflects like that, that means you have orange peel. So Sam and I did research. Right here, you see a nice section of paint, right? But then you have this whole section looking like stardust or some shit here and here. And you'll notice that in every single one of our tests, especially here, here. That's not what's supposed to happen. That's what happens in spray cans though. Like when that's you, when you yeah. use a spray paint can, yeah. that's what it looks like. Right. All right. So here's the deal. 
Bottompainstore.com, a reliable source for many, states <laughs> a 1.4 is an all-around tip for clears, base coat, and guess what else? Single stage paints. We use a 1.7. We've been using 1.7. Guess what a 1.8, 1.7, 1.8 is good for? Primers. If you know anything about paint, that means we're using the exact opposite type of tip we should be using. It's most likely the tip because it's like, that's, that sounds like we're using the exact opposite tip we should be using. So we're gonna, we're gonna order a new tip and then try again. <laughs> Dude, I don't know. There, ah. I'm sorry. We're I'm, back when it's not midnight and sunny outside. Yeah, exactly. I'm tired, bro. We've been here. It's 11.50. And we painted three pieces of a car. We thought we might paint a whole car. We've inhaled paint fumes for a few hours. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. See ya. <laughs> we don't. All I can think of is sometimes you, <laughs> sometimes you win some. Sometimes you lose some. <laughs> <laughs>